So in this video we're going to show you how to go about getting a domain name. So one of the things I like to do after I do all of my keyword research, and that'll be in, a, in another video, but once I do my keyword research, um, I look for a domain that has my exact primary keyword phrase in it. it has to be an exact match. Um, that's, that's the ideal solution. Um, if you can't get an exact match, try for something very close. So what I like to use is I like to use this thing called instant domain search. And then I just type in the domain that I want to go for. And you can see here that the .com is taken, and it's taken by me. Um, but .net and .org are available. I like to choose .net next in the hierarchy, um, simply because it's known as a commercial entity, whereas .org, people tend to think that it's um, more of along the lines of an education or a .gov uh, top-level domain. So we know that it's available, so then we go back to Namecheap, which is a very good domain name registrar, and we type in the domain we want, and we click on search, and hopefully we find here that .NET is available. It is. And then we add it to the cart. If you have a coupon code, enter it right here. Click apply and you'll see a discount here. I do happen to have a coupon code. Click apply. See that the price went down a little bit. And then we can check out. So when you get to this page, you can either create an account if you don't have one, or if you do have an account, you can just type in your username and password here and click login. And then you'll get to this page and click on the next step. And you can change your name servers here. We go over that in, a, in another video, or you can use their free name servers for right now. I will go ahead and do this and I'm going to pause it for a second while I go retrieve that information and then you go to save and continue you can see that you you've reserved this the ultimate guide to wordpress.net in this case here's my price and then you can pay with available funds or credit card or with PayPal I usually use PayPal so we'll go there Then you click on login once you've typed in your email and PayPal password. Then you can check over the options, click on continue. And this can take a bit of time. So I'm going to pause it here. And this is what the page looks like when you're done. Once you see this page, you're done and your order is complete. Then what we do is we always want to verify. So let's go here to my account and then manage domains. Scroll all the way to the bottom where, where it should be and you can see that it's right here. Click on that. Let's check our domain name server setup and it's there. We'll show you how to do that in a different video, but it's there. And let's go back to my account, and we're done.